sketch a graph of x is greater than or equal to 250 and express the solution in interval notation. It would be a little bit ridiculous for us to have a number line that starts at 0 and goes by 1s, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, all the way up to 250. We would never want to do that. It would take a lot of space. It just isn't a nice way to go about this. So instead, we can go by 50s or 100s. So let's say this is 0, and then this is 100, and this is 200. So I'm labeling every 100, but each tick mark actually represents 50 units. Right? So we've got 0, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, etc. And so here for 250, that's going to be this tick mark right here, halfway between 200 and 300. Now we know that x is greater than or equal to 250. So because it's allowed to be equal, that means we're going to have a closed circle there. And we want x to be greater than or equal to 250. So we're looking for larger numbers, which means we are shading to the right. And so this is what our graph ends up looking like. And in interval notation, we start at 250 and go to infinity. And because 250 is a solution, we use a bracket there. And since infinity can't be a solution because it's not a real number, we put a parenthesis there. And so this is our graph. And this is what we have in interval notation. Equivalently, I went by 50s. You could just go by 100s. 0, 100, 200, 300, etc. In that situation, you would still have a closed circle at 250, which is halfway between 200 and 300, and you shade to the right. So this is another way of doing it. There are generally lots of ways that you can draw these graphs, and some of them are better than others. You want graphs that have everything in the correct place. You want the scales to be working properly. You want it to be nice and readable. But so long as you're following all of those requirements, it doesn't matter if you go by 50s or 100s or even 200s, so long as you're being consistent and your graph looks nice and everything is in the right place you are good to go.